Well, let's just dive right in and start to uh, create our new iMovie with all of our photos that we like and to put music to them as well. So the first thing we're going to do, and uh, this is my computer, this is my desktop, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to iMovie, click on it, it'll open. I go to File, New Project, uh, type in a new project name, I'll call it Demo. And then uh, we want widescreen 16.9 with theme as none, no theme. And we'll just create it just like this. So the first step after we've created our demo reel, as you can see down here, this is our edit window. Uh, the first thing we want to do is choose our music. So what we want to do is click right here on the uh, music from our iTunes. Um, we'll go down to... I've already chose Sabotage uh, by the Beastie Boys, so we'll just drag this file right into our edit window. Um, now, that it's, now that it's there, we have to put those markers inside of it. Um, I say markers and you don't know what that is yet, but you will. And how you get there is you basically go into this uh, music file by clicking on this little down arrow inside of it and click Clip Trimmer. Now you can see all the WAV files um, inside of that. And if I um, basically hit the space bar, it'll play it. And while it's playing, I can put markers inside of it. Uh, so every marker, marker will be a photo. So what I'm going to do is, if, if you have any kind of rhythm at all, or know anybody who has rhythm, um, you know, you can set kind of a rhythm to your to your slideshow. So I'm just going to show you how this works. I'm going to press the space bar, then I'm going to begin to hit M with uh, whatever beat I like, um, and it's going to put a little uh, line over um, the clip trimmer here, all the waveforms here. So here we go. Space bar and then M. Space bar, it's going to play. I'm going to press M. I'm going to keep pressing M. I'm just pressing M again. So I think you get the idea. Basically, you just press M, and those little lines come down, and those act as a marker uh, to where you go, uh, where you put a new photo. So basically, we're, we're done uh, with that, but you would have to go through the entire... Uh, song putting those markers in which takes maybe a minute or two or as long as the the song is so we're done and uh, I'm just gonna press done so there that is and now I want to put photos on top of that so I'm gonna go back over to this uh, right side if you can see my cursor here and I'm going to select um, the photo uh, icon here because that's where all my photos come from my iPhoto and I've already selected an, an event um, which is, I just went on a camping trip, so I'm just going to select that entire event, drag it over here on top, and it's going to add those stills right to um, my music. It might take a minute, it says less than a minute here, but uh, really this is probably one of the easiest things to do with um, a, a really big wow factor. Um, it doesn't take any time at all to do this when sometimes it might take three hours. Um, I talked to a gentleman who said he, he did this and it took him a couple of days to do because he didn't know about the markers. So now I have my markers on and uh, we're, we're ready for, um, for a preview of what we've done. So up in the top right hand corner here is a edit window or a viewing window should I say to show what what we've done. So I'm just gonna go down here to the beginning and we're gonna preview it. And that's what it looks like. So I think you get the general idea of how this works. Um, so basically what we've did what we did was we dragged our 
our music in um, just by pressing on the little music icon here. We dragged it in inside of the edit window. Um, and then we made <clears throat> um, markers on top of that by pressing the M button. And then once we were done doing that, we went back in um, and selected our photos that we wanted and just dragged them right inside of this little edit window, creating these nice little edits for us as the music is playing. So now you're asking yourself, great, now I made this, now how am I supposed to tell everybody that I made it or share it with them? Well, it's quite easy. Um, in iMovie 09, um, there's a little share button up here at the top. Whether or not you can see it, I don't know, but it is there. If you hit share, um, it says um, mobile me gallery, YouTube, um, iDVD, or any media browser. Um, so we would just want to upload it to, to mobile me. Um, that's a service that Apple has as well. Um, <clears throat> I won't talk about that today, but I could do it at a later date. Um, so I'll just click on mobile me gallery. It's uh, basically going to take this, it's going to upload it <clears throat> to the web. Um, it gives you a few options, whether you want to make it a tiny one, a tiny little video, uh, a mobile video. So maybe it would be better for the iPhone or you know your Razer or whatever I, uh, phone that you have, or medium or large. Um, I'm just going to upload it um, very, very small because it won't take any time at all for that to happen. And I want this viewable by everybody, um, and I want um, everyone to be able to download this movie as well. And then all I have to do is hit publish, um, and then it just publishes just like that. It will says preparing pro project. It takes no time at all to do something like this. Um, usually, um, <clears throat> you know, maybe for a big project, it might take you know, 15 minutes for something like this, no time at all. So there it is, it's done. Uh, now it's going to upload to the web right now. And then uh, once this is done, it's basically going to be uh, give us a link. Um, and it'll ask you, would you like to tell a friend about this? Sure I do. Uh, basically I go into here and I go ahead and and write my email and go ahead and hit send and just like that we have our we have our movie that's viewable to everybody